Riziki is hungry, scared and completely distraught. He's been shut in this house with his younger brother Sakubu for two days and they're both too young to understand the reason why. Their mother Concessa left them here and walked to the nearest town to work as a prostitute just so she can try and get them something to eat. I don't have any choice. Tomorrow I will have to leave them and go out again. If I stay, then we won't have anything to eat. They'll just keep crying and asking for food. Concessa, widowed by AIDS, is Burundian, but like many, she was born in a refugee camp in Tanzania. Now she lives in this so-called peace village built for returnees. It's isolated, there's no jobs, just a water pump and little else. Crucially, it lacks what people need most, land. In Burundi, there simply isn't enough land to farm. The people here have been given these houses, but without land, they can't grow food to eat. Burundi's the most rural country in the world. Over 90% of the population live in the countryside, surviving simply by growing their own food. It may look quiet, but nearly every piece of arable land is used. With a rapidly growing population squeezed in a small land area, the influx of returnees after the war only added to the pressure. Gilbert Nijimbere works for an organization that helps returnees to rehabilitate. With UN support, they can keep building houses, but he says as long as everyone depends on farming, there's no way the country can support its people. The density of the population. It's no longer possible to sustain the population, not unless we completely change the way of life, completely change the mentality. At this meeting, a committee decides who gets one of the new houses. In this case, the houses come with a small plot of land. An argument breaks out. Rosa, a war widow and mother of five, says she had to pay a bribe to be on the shortlist, but still she doesn't get one. We were told to come back home, but we're not getting the help we need. If I knew it was going to be like this, I would have stayed in Tanzania. There may now be peace, but for the thousands of landless like Rosa, the future's still bleak. The Burundian countryside is blessed with natural beauty, but there's just not enough of it to go round. Malcolm Webb, Al Jazeera, Southern Burundi.